Hello, can you see me? Hey, over here, can you see me? Hey, over here, can you see me? Okay, I think we're all together now. It's good to see you. I'm excited to be here again. And thank you for joining us. Let's, let's just get started with a song. I have a friend who loves me so, and Jesus is his name, oh, J-E-S-U-S, 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 and Jesus is his name, oh, I have a friend who loves me so, and Jesus is his name, oh, E-S-U-S, E-S-U-S. E-S-U-S and Jesus is his name, oh, I have a friend who loves me so, and Jesus is his name, oh, S-U-S, S-U-S, S-U-S and Jesus is his name, oh, I have a friend who loves me so, and Jesus is his name, oh, U-S, U-S. U.S. and Jesus is his name, oh, I have a friend who loves me so, and Jesus is his name, oh, S, 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 and Jesus is his name, oh, I have a friend who loves me so, and Jesus is his name, oh, And Jesus is his name, oh, I have a friend who loves me so, and Jesus is his name, oh, stop. Everybody stop. I feel like we need to be a little bit louder when we say these letters. Are you ready? I want to hear you. Can you do like this? I want to hear you. I have a friend who loves me so, and Jesus is his name, oh, J-E-S-U-S, J-E-S-U-S. S-U-S, J-E-S-U-S, and Jesus is his name, oh. Man, it is so good to be together. Do you love to go on a trip? If you could go anywhere in the world on a trip, where would you go? I want you to say it out loud. Whoever you have in your room with you, say it so maybe I could hear you wherever I'm at. Where would you go if you could go on a trip? Would you go to the beach? Would you like to go see the ocean and go swimming? I love to go swimming. Or would you like to go to the mountains? Go on a hike, hike up the mountains. Can you do like this, go on a hike? Yeah, or would you go to Disney World? I bet some of you guys would choose to go to Disney World. You know, I love going on a trip. And once you figure out where you're going, you gotta figure out what? How are you gonna get there? How am I going to get to Disney World? You know, would you go to Disney World by walking like this? Can you do this with me? Could you go, would you go to Disney World in a car? In a car? Vroom, 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 vroom. Would you go to Disney World on a plane? Would you fly on a plane? Or vroom, vroom. I don't know. Or would you go on a train? Can everybody do like this? You ready? I couldn't hear what you said. Uh, Siri thinks she's in class with us, but she's not. Can everybody do like this? All right, you ready? We're going up to heaven on the glory land express. The letters on the boxcar spell J-E-S-U-S. -S. When the yard man calls for heaven, I'll surely answer yes. We're going up to heaven on the glory land express. Choo choo! All right, now, we're going to go uphill, so strap on. We're going to lean back a little bit. We're going up. And when you go up, you got to go a little bit slower. You ready? We're going up to heaven on the glory land express. The letters on the boxcar spell J-E-S-U-S. When the yard man calls for heaven, I'll surely answer yes. We're going up to heaven on the Glory Land Express. Choo-choo! All right, now we're going to go downhill. You know, when you go downhill, you go a lot faster. You ready? We're going up to heaven on the Glory Land Express. The letters on the boxcar spell J-E-S-U-S. -S. When the yard man calls for heaven, I'm surely answered yes. We're going up to heaven on the Glory Land Express. Choo-choo! That was so fast that I couldn't even 
say all the words. I messed up the words. Maybe you did too. That's okay. But maybe you would take the Glory Land Express on that trip that you would go on, wherever it would be, to the beach, to the mountains, to Disney World. Where would you go on a trip? You know, it, when it's finally time to go on a trip, sometimes it feels like you've been waiting a long time to get there. You know, but it's usually worth it once you get there. You know, I feel like we've been waiting a long time for Christmas. Are you ready for Christmas? I don't think you're ready. Are you really ready for Christmas? I'm ready for Christmas. Did you know that we've been waiting a whole year for Christmas to get here? We sure have. A whole year we've been waiting for Christmas to get here, and it feels like a long time. And did you know that thousands of years ago, God's people had been waiting a really, really long time for a promise that He was given. The Israelites were waiting for something very special to happen. They were waiting on their Savior. And just like when you are uh, getting ready to go on a big trip or getting ready for Christmas like you are this week, because Christmas is in just two days, their fathers and grandfathers and maybe some of their great-grandfathers have been telling them about a promise that God made to them long, long time ago. The promise that God would send a Savior into the world. Did you know that? They waited a really, really long time. Say that with me. Savior. Can you say Savior? Savior. Good job. God promised that He would send a Savior. And do you know what His name was going to be? Do you know what the Savior's name was going to be? Let's try this. J-E-S-U-S, 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 and Jesus is His name. Oh, that's right. The name of the Savior was going to be Jesus. And God finally was going to send His Savior, our Savior, Jesus, to be the Savior. Now, do you always keep your promises? It's really important to keep your promises. And sometimes you even give pinky promises. Can you give me a pinky promise right now? Give me a pinky promise. You know, you kind of wrap your pinky around. Can you give me one? Good job. So we're going to give a pinky promise today. And, you know, sometimes we break our promises. But I want you to know something from this lesson that God never breaks His promises. Does God ever break His promises? No, He doesn't. Now let's all say it together. I want you to repeat after me. You ready? God, God. Never, never breaks, breaks His, his promises. promises. Good job. God never breaks His promises. Very good. And God promised that He was going to send Jesus to the world to be our Savior. And He told them in a really special way. Do you think He told them by putting it on TV? Maybe He was in the news and God said, Hello, Nashville. Hello, Winchester. I'm going to send a Savior. Do you think He said it on TV? Or maybe the radio? Did God get on YouTube and tell everybody He was going to send a Savior? I don't think so. But God did decide to tell the people that He was going to send our Savior through His very special helpers named prophets. Can you say that with me? Prophets. Good job. Prophets were God's messengers. They were kind of like preachers. People that God talked to His people through. And some prophets wrote down messages in the Bible, in the Old Testament. And we can even go read them today. Do you know the books of the Old Testament? In the Old Testament is where we find some of these prophecies. Let's sing them together. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd 
Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. Good job. You know all the books of the Old Testament. And if you go and read in the Old Testament, you'll get to read some of God's prophets and what they wrote about Jesus. All the way back in Genesis, the very first book of the Bible. Can you put up a number one? The very first book of the Bible, the book of Genesis, there was a man named Abraham. And Abraham was told by God that he would be the father of many, many children. Many, many, many children. And that his children would have many, many children. And that their children would have many, many children. And one of his descendants, one of those kids, was going to bless the whole world. And his name would be Jesus. Exactly. Good job. His name would be Jesus. And God also talked to a prophet named Isaiah about Jesus hundreds of years before Jesus was ever born. Isaiah. And God told him that this child would be called a wonderful counselor, a mighty God. Another prophet that God talked to, his name was Micah. Can you say Micah? Micah. And God told Micah that the name of the city Jesus would be born in would be Bethlehem. Can you say that with me? Bethlehem. That Jesus would be born in Bethlehem. And there are over 350 prophecies. 350! Wow! That's a lot! 350 prophecies in the Old Testament that tell us about Jesus. And some of them were written thousands of years before Jesus was ever born. Isn't that super cool? Do you think you can predict what's going to happen a thousand years from now? If I asked you, what do you think is going to happen in 1,000 years, what would you say? I don't know what I would say. A lot of things can happen in the next 1,000 years. I don't even know what's going to happen in the next five minutes. But these people wrote thousands of years before Jesus was born, many different prophecies that they wrote about Jesus. And do you think that's awesome? Because I do. And what's even crazy is that every single one of those prophecies that God sent to His people became true. Every single prophecy written in the Old Testament about Jesus and about other things too became true and God kept every single promise that He made. Remember that pinky promise we made? Let's make another pinky promise that we will always trust God to keep His promises. I will always trust God to keep His promises. God promised that He would send a Savior, and a lot of people think about that Savior this time of year. A lot of people celebrate the birth of Jesus during Christmas season. And we celebrate that Jesus was born, that He came to this earth, and that He died for our sins, and that He rose again three days after that. And we celebrate that every single day. And so this season, I hope that you will think about how grateful we can be that God never breaks his Let's pray together. God, thank you for this day. Thank you for blessing us with it. And I pray that we will always trust that you will keep your promises. Help us to trust in you every day. And always be thankful that Jesus was born and that you kept that promise that he came and died for our sins. We love you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can you say that with me? Amen. All right, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas, and we'll see you back next Wednesday. See ya.